So, Richard, what yes. are we making today? We are making, let's see if I can say this because of my broken English. Um, we're making pastalaya. It's jambalaya with pasta instead of rice. I can't believe you got to say that. I did say it. Uh, I was trying to don't say try it. again. I was trying on the phone telling you yesterday I and I couldn't it. get it out. <laughs> so what you got there, Rich? I just put I put three tablespoons of butter. And I <laughs> just all brown like, in mine. Like the count. Yeah. Three. three. That's three tablespoons. Three. <laughs> three tablespoons in one. Okay, and we're going to brown our... Uh, I'm going to let the butter melt first. Yeah, they, we're using some andouille... andouille, uh, andouille, 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 andouille sausage. Yeah, laugh at me. That uh, is awesome. I know other things to do with this. <laughs> I've seen parents. See, now you look like a grumpy old man. I know. <laughs> Get off my lawn! <laughs> That's right. Uh, andouille sausage. And you just, it's already cooked, so you just want to brown it, get some flavors in there before we add a, our veggies. And I, got, and I got a new shirt that I ruined the very first day I wore it, because I rock. Well, I will say this, though. It was uh, uh, a good reason for actually ruining it, because it's bleached because he was cleaning yes, I was so cleaning. everything in here is really clean mm -hmm. all right we're ready to dump our sausage into the hot tub that's for you Bruce yeah I knew that Rich <laughs> I, I'm very aware of okay we let this brown but it took about two minutes so it's building up some nice flavor in there with the uh, oils and all that so you have your rich man's uh, yeah, my, yeah, Holy Trinity. Trinity. Holy Trinity. Yeah. With, we remember, we discovered it has garlic in it also. Oh, that's right. Yeah. You know, I can't afford to just buy it already cut up for me. Yeah, it's, bullshit. It's different, <laughs> it's different than changing my oil. You, you, yeah. actually, you actually have a more disposable income than I have. <laughs> yeah, we're going to let this go for about five minutes. Let this all get soft and absorb the flavors. And then we will move on to our next stage. Okay, so you've gotten the vegetables softened and a little color on the sausage, eh? Yep, and instead of... Uh, I don't know where the hell that egg came from. I know, you're Canadian all the <laughs> Yeah, I do. <laughs> so we're going to scoop this in here so I can get, I can put more butter and brown the chicken. Actually, I actually don't even need to add anything else because I still got all the oils from the... The original butter and yeah, it's gonna take two hands. <laughs> okay, so you've got uh, the chicken tenders. I got the chicken tenders. You can do the same thing with with the uh, chicken breast also. Um, I got here. That's about a pound. I'm gonna go with that. We're gonna put so much meat in here that I gotta kind of ration what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> if I wanted to fit. <laughs> I'm not sure you call it rationing, but okay. Uh, I mean, I'm going to have pork, chicken, um, the sausage, I have um, crab, and I have shrimp. So, and that's without the veggies, so. Alright, we're going to toss this around in some seasoning. I'm using today Cajun's Choice. It really is just it's salt, pepper, it's a peppers, it's red, black, and white, garlic. It says other spices. We don't know what that is. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go ahead and brown our chicken now. That, That's a sizzle. The sizzle. You call that the sizzle reel? Since I haven't washed that hand yet. We got to see him spaz out. I know, I don't know. I don't want to, <laughs> I don't want to cross uh, contaminate the crust. He was spazzing out. I was spazzing. Might as well add a little seasoning to this. I want flavor and everything. Yep. All right, this is about, because it doesn't have to be all cooked all the way. Because I'm about to add 
No, you just want to get some color on it. Yeah, I got some color. I'm going to add uh, tomatoes and all that. So I can actually put this back in. And let me get the tomato. Shit. Where, uh, what else is going in there? I'm putting uh, crushed tomatoes. Paprika. And I'm going to let that cook for 10 minutes before I put uh, chicken broth in. Cool. Yeah, you might as well put everything back in the bowl. Yep. <laughs> uh, well, the bowl doesn't bother me. <laughs> <laughs> What's your video? So it's not, yeah, it's my video. It, it doesn't bother me on your video. <laughs> Just on your. Just on mine. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but now you know it's coming. Hell yeah, yeah. I never expected it to stop. Well, it's gonna get old at some point. Well, that's true. And then about three months after that, I'm going to stop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's usually how it works. Yeah. All right, let's mix this all up. We're going to be eating like kings today, ladies and gentlemen. Kings, I tell you. Cajun Kings, I guess. <laughs> That's gold, Rich. Gold! That is gold. <laughs> okay, so we have uh, some San Marzano, um, the peeled tomatoes. These things are great for any kind of, anything you need tomatoes for. Um, they're great, it's great for freaking pasta uh, sauces. Those are whole peeled tomatoes, right? Whole peeled tomatoes. Oh yeah. Do, do they have, uh, uh some of them have uh, some uh, basil in it. Yes. Okay, we're gonna go about a, a tablespoon. This is paprika. A paprika, yeah. All right. Bruce made a good point that it it's, it melts better at this stage than if I do it when I add the uh, the liquid, the uh, chicken stock. So let's do it now. Okay, we are going to let this. cook for about 10 minutes. All right, sounds good. All right, I'm gonna turn this down real quick. Let's simmer some so to keep reducing. Okay, here we go. I meant to put pork in here, so this actually should have been one of the first steps, like probably right before the chicken. But we can still save it. You can save things, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, wait, that's Bruce's. You can save things, America. I don't, want to, I don't want to steal Bruce's catchphrases. <laughs> oh, some catchphrase. I know, ladies and gentlemen. gentlemen. <laughs> Alright. Let's do this. Yours is better because you use two R's to say America. I know. <laughs> That's why America loves me. Yeah, it is. Again, we just want to get some browning on this and then you kind of get like a little, it's not a pure roux, but it's kind of a start of a roux type thing. So you get all that flavor and you dump it in there and it's just more flavor. I'm the best when it comes to describing stuff. I am like a describing master. This way. Oh, oh, that's right. I'm the worst. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I watch these videos. I'm like, I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. That, that's the most I've ever heard you say about anything. Yeah, you like that? Yeah, yeah it is. That's impressive. I actually like, I'm going to watch videos and just like write down what they say at the end. <laughs> <laughs> I'm liking this. Mm -hmm. So, besides, do you have any other kind of meat besides pork? Uh, <clears throat> so far, I uh, have enjoyed sausage already in there. Uh -huh. Thank you. George just showed up. That's why he's asking questions. Yeah, George is asking questions. Um, and then I have a uh, chicken. Yep, I see the chicken. I'm gonna have the pork. All right. And then I have shrimp and crab. Yes, We're loading up. Good. No beef. No beef. But that's beef in the pork. Uh, I mean in the uh, in the sausage. sausage. Yeah. Right there. Okay. I am your master. I am your master. So uh, since we already had a video introducing George, yeah, so why don't you turn around and show your face real quick? And you know, George forgot to put the uh, sound on that particular clip that yeah. was not used. So, so you uh, know, so I'm here. George is our yep. the new, third wheel, new cameraman. He came in late yeah. today, so I'm going to dock his pay. They they turned us into uh, from a from a bicycle to a trike now. Yeah, yeah. I, I do want to know too since he showed up, your forehead cut off too. It wasn't what yeah. I was doing. This. No. 
true. I need to back it up a bit. But, you know, now, now, now well, right now, Iron Man's showing up. <laughs> you can actually move that back over there. I'm getting ready to dump this in. So. Okay, we just got it all brown. Because, yes, we make fun of everybody. <laughs> no one's immune. No one's immune. No, one's immune. no one's expected to be right. immune either. Yeah, if you want to put that back, and yeah. I'll dump this. Where's it going, Rich? It's going in the hot tub. <laughs> <laughs> Now with that, I'm going to go ahead and add the chicken broth. Okay. I got a 48 ounce container of this. I don't need it all, but I want more than I need. So if I have to add more when it reduces and whatever. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and probably put three fourths of this in there. This is Richard doing math. So this is about three cups. Oh, you missed it. <laughs> you totally missed doing the math earlier, yeah. <laughs> that was awesome. That's awesome. So how many ounces are in a cup? <laughs> how many cups do I need? <laughs> Meanwhile, how many cups? Really? <laughs> Richard? Eight. 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 So now, knows that. Yeah. So now the best part is he has a plastic cup. Right. And he's going to use that, right, to kind of gauge what, like, but I'm not going to tell you shit. <laughs> well, 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 how many ounces is that? Well, it's 12 ounces. I, I, knew, I knew that. 12 ounce cup? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, you know, there's cups. Oh, it actually cheap. tells you it's a 12 ounce cup? No, that's what these notches on all these cups are. On all the solo cups? Really? There's actual measurements to them. I didn't know that. Yeah, so that's why I knew that's 12 ounces. Wow. Really? Yeah. Look at the big brain on Rich. I had no idea. Yeah, so there was a reason I was I was doing that in my head. All I right. I never read the package. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think it says it on the package. Crystal posted it on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> I did not. And when know I saw that. that, I was like, oh wow, I didn't know that. I had no <laughs> idea. So uh, what kind of beer are we gonna drink with this, Rich? I'm glad you asked, Bruce. <laughs> That's what I'm here for. <laughs> I'm going to hold it. I'm going to hold it. So we're going to do a beer tasting video as soon. I might as well do it now. What do you know? I'd be a good, good idea. idea. Huh. Huh. Man, I'm glad you thought about that. I am a genius. There you are. <laughs> you know what? We could just do it standing right here. All right. Let me go get the beer. All right. Oh, no. We, well, you got to come around. Yep. I can do that. Okay. I need a beer, though. I'm gonna go get it. <laughs> <laughs> and right after I get that beer, I'm gonna kick his ass. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be off camera, ladies and gentlemen. We're not gonna let you see two old men fighting. <laughs> it would be not very funny. <laughs> oh yeah, it would. Oh yeah, okay. You're right, it would. So you know, when I was brewing beer all the time, you had to get these kind of bottles with the pry off cap, so you could fill them back up with beer and, and cap them. The twist offs, you couldn't do that with. So like you would drink it and then just refill it and then cap it and... When I was making beer, that is not how I was oh, making the wow. beer. I, I, don't, I don't know beer. That's how you get rid of beer. <laughs> beer, beer making I skills. Thought, I thought you just recycled. That's how you remove the beer. Oh. All right, so. I learned what something. Have, what do we have here, Richard? Okay, this is a beater. It's an amber lager. I wanted to go with a Cajun beer to go with the Cajun dish I'm making. Um, they, looking up, it said with pairs, uh, that pairs well with jambalaya would be more of a smoky beer. Um, I really didn't see anything I liked. Um, and I've always wanted to try this, so. We're trying it. Sounds great. Yeah, so Abita is, where is Abita exactly from Louisiana? One, uh, New Orleans. Yeah, it oh, looks like New Orleans, Orleans right. yeah. Well, it says the season love has New Orleans New, New Orleans is my yes. favorite dive bar. The whole city. Hmm, I like it. Oh man, that's good. Yeah. yeah. I'm a fan of amber bears. Uh, amber beers, anyway. Amber bears also. Yeah. Yeah. Like those red bears. Yeah. Those red bears? Yeah. yeah. It, talks about your alley, the, huh? it talks about the German pearl hops, which I, they don't get in the way of the maltiness of the. Uh, 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 of the amber, which I I just love. You still get the hops, but they're not, you know, 
They're not hitting you in the face. It talks yeah. about the caramel finish, and I agree. It's, it's sad. It's, it's taste real smooth. Yeah, we're gonna definitely finish the, the six pack today. Yeah, probably in the next couple minutes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> four, a four and a half percent alcohol, which that's about right. Yeah. So you can drink more than one. Uh, and you will want to. Yeah, you probably will. But I mean, you know, you can have a few beers with dinner then, and uh, you won't get polluted. Yeah, yeah, one, two, six. Well, no, nope. not everybody's like us, Rich. That's true. More people are than you think. <laughs> Another thing that they're saying on this okay. label is that uh, they actually use this in cooking, Louisiana. Oh, do they? Yeah. I'm going to have to find a recipe now. So, okay, so we admit that we drink all this beer. They just do and they don't admit it? Is that... Yeah, look at my shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Minus the stain. Be drunk is the way to go. But Where's we know that everything's clean. Because he spilled <laughs> because I, bleach all over himself. Rich. Cleaning. His Indian name is now Cleans with Bleach. <laughs> <laughs> That's in. pretty damn funny. I'm in here. So, ladies and gentlemen. This is definitely a America. recommend. America. America. This is a recommend. <laughs> this is a definite recommend. This is a really good beer. Okay, but <laughs> okay, well, we're still first. first yeah, just shake a little more here. What the hell? You know, you got it in your hand. Alright, so are we at a bubble yet or anything? We are in a bubble. See there? The timing for the beer was perfect. It was perfect. Why? Because Bruce is a genius. I am. When I'm not. <laughs> My day to be the genius. Oh no, wait. You're, you're the one that informed me about the uh, solo cup. That's right. So. Big, brain. Big brain. Big brain. Big brain. Ah, shit. Gotta have a big brain to go with this big going. forehead. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm gonna sell like advertising on our videos on my forehead. That'd be awesome. <laughs> I could make a little revenue that. stream on the side. <laughs> I think that'd be great. All right, head us up, America. You want your company promoted? My forehead is your man. <laughs> <laughs> it's your man. That, that, that's uh, yeah. That's an interesting way of putting it. Yes, it is. <laughs> um, I think it's ready. For the top now. Because the original plan was two, the whole two bags, so I think a uh, bag and a half. I don't know. See, see well, how it looks. I mean, I got I do need to absorb a lot of this liquid. You do, actually, because, yeah, Jambalaya is not supposed to really have any liquid right. left, so. Um, I don't know. Let's see how the first bag looks. There you go. We'll go from there. So we're rolling. We're rolling. No, we're not rolling. Bag oh, number one. Oh, yeah, it's definitely going to need both. Keep them doggy rolling. Uh -huh. This. Speaking of that. Oh, stop. Oh, maybe not. Yeah. Never mind. Oh, look who's back here. Yeah, mm. I love Boston. I. Yeah, I know. I love making my chicken noodle soup with this. Oh yeah, it is big time. And, but with my wife being gluten free, I don't have the opportunity. Wow, dude, you know what you just did? What? You didn't take any of that out. <laughs> Same for her. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> well, she's gonna she's gonna have to enjoy some smothered pork chops later. I on. guess she is. I think she will. Uh. Sorry, yeah. sorry, honey. <laughs> Pope Cameron, sorry. Do you have any? Do you have I'm gonna, head, I'm gonna edit the crap out of that. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Liquid's reducing. This is looking good. I'm gonna go ahead and throw the crab in. They sell these cups at most grocery stores. Um, it's over by the seafood counter. It's just lump crab, and uh, you know it's it's a lot easier than me buying 42 crabs. And trying to get all the meat out for this for this shot right here. <laughs> <laughs> so let's mix that in. Well, like I said, this this is approved by the uh, chefs association right. to be to do this. 
mean, they actually agreed. They didn't want to cook 42 crabs either. Well, that's before they knew I was going to do it. Then they're like, oh shit, it's not him. <laughs> <laughs> well, so, Rick, did you did you mention how long that can, that uh, pasta was cooking? Uh, it was, oh, the pasta was cooking for eight minutes. Eight minutes. Eight, eight minutes. minutes. All right, got a little crab with the cheese. What do you think? Tastes pretty damn good to me. What do you think? The crab. Oh, I love crab. It's uh, got it's got that seafood taste to it immediately with the crab. Oh God, man. I went in and bought the shrimp already deveined and shelled off. But not cooked. But not cooked. And I was quite pleased when I found out I could just stick it in the fridge and not the freezer overnight. Yeah, I mean, they want you to leave it on ice. He, he, he said if, you, if you're using it tomorrow, he said just throw, right. throw that, it in your fridge. That's, that's where I'm at, too. I, I, but I'm never really going to buy shrimp unless I'm going to use it right away. Like that day or the next. Right, because uh, if if not, I was gonna come back, go back this morning. Right, and right, it. yeah, you were gonna get it today if you had to, because I mean that's that was the way I am. It's like when I buy shrimp, especially fresh shrimp, yes, it's either gonna be today or tomorrow. That's it. You stir that all in. Oh, you know what you need to really do. Oh, but it's too late. What? That nasty shrimp hand that you're holding that spoon in. I'll wash this whole thing. Well, you're gonna have to now. Good thing I'm not gonna use that. <laughs> you might not be using it, but it might be inserted. <laughs> <laughs> now, I had three bags of Parmesan and I forgot that I used it on the pasta dish for your daughter. Oh! <laughs> I'm like, oh, yeah, I forgot to do that for her birthday. But I have a combination of grated and shredded, and I'm just gonna... What's the difference between grated and shredded? A shredded is like... Oh, okay, you're right, yeah. I know. Never mind. So we're gonna go with all of this, and then just a little bit of that. Mm -hmm. Actually, I think I'm just gonna go with the freaking grated. It just sticks to it really, really good. Grated and pasta go hand in hand. So, yeah, that's probably about a half a cup. I mean, we don't want to overpower it. It's also going to help absorb the liquid and we don't want it to eat too much liquid. Here we go, we're going to plate up. Oh, look at that goodness. So I keep running Newman through my head. Jambalaya. <laughs> <laughs> I can't help it. But this is. I'm get, looking get, at it now. Get, get in here and get a good picture of that. Pasta lion. Pasta lion. Oh, yeah. On this fancy white plate. <laughs> so we got some sausage on there. We got the pasta. We got the uh, veggies. And it's better than I thought because I, I was thinking that the um, seafood was going to overpower it. You have the taste of the seafood in the back, but it's not overpowering. The, the pasta, you still taste the, the tomatoes, the crushed tomatoes I put in there. And everything, it's just a, God. Let's try some shrimp. Get in there with shrimp. And because the crab is mixed in, that's where you're going to always have the seafood taste. Mm -hmm. So this looks like it's going to be a keeper. This is a keeper. 